Hey Gemini, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back to do a brand new series for you guys and just like last month where we had friend or foe, this month I am doing hidden motives. So this is gauging if anybody in your immediate space, environment, whether it pertains to platonic friendships, romantic relationships, or your work environment has any hidden motives towards you, okay? All right, guys, so I already meditated over some oracles, and this is what I got. Sacrifice, all right? So this is looking like somebody that you definitely had to sacrifice or possibly somebody that asked you to make a sacrifice. There are uh, They are both most worth making and those that will destroy you here. So in this case, I feel like with this 11 card, this is possibly somebody from your past that you saw as a soulmate or that taught you as a soulmate. And if you had to sacrifice them to make any moves in your life, which I see you possibly did have to do that, um, then they could be definitely feeling quite vindictive at this time. And we're going to definitely tap in deeper to see what their hidden motives can be. But the second card out was water flight. And that's heaviness lifts, burdens are cast away, weightlessness. So the reason why you possibly had to sacrifice this person or like release this person from your life was because they was weighing you down. They was the anchor in your life. They was slowing you down from achieving your goals or getting to a place of change that you wanted to be in because this is a 14 card. I'll reduce that down to a five, which speaks to change for me. I feel like you had a greater call and a greater place to be something better to be doing with yourself than to be around somebody that was holding you down. Um, Homeland was the last card out. So I, when I said I feel like you had bigger and better things to do or you had a greater mission, um, this one speaks to arrival, a journey ends, establishment, building, settled. So that's the thing. When it came down to your stability, I feel like this person was holding you back. Um, I do feel as though you were unable to achieve what it, it, what it was you were trying to achieve while you was with this person. So unfortunately, you had to sacrifice them. And, you know, it's a possibility that you had to relocate for work or that you, you just... You just had a better calling for something and you had to let them go. Like there was a sacrifice that you had to make. Maybe you, if you had to move out of state for a job, you couldn't take them or something to that extent. But whatever the case is, this person is definitely feeling left in the lurch and they don't feel good about it. As you can see, this person is looking like, how could you, you know? So let's see. All right, um, spirit, as it pertains to... Gemini, can we please clarify the sacrifice, water flight, and homeland as it pertains to the person in their life that may have hidden motives? Can we please get more energy on the person in our, yup, somebody you felt disconnected from? <clears throat> the lovers in reverse. So you made a decision as it pertains to a path, and I feel like you picked one where you couldn't take your lover, Okay. The Ten of Cups is here, so they might have thought you was the end-all, be-all here. So maybe with you sacrificing them, they feel extremely betrayed. But let's see. Or you could be living your best life now. Like, maybe you guys really didn't have that happy... Yeah, they feel like you did them in an, in an injustice. We got the justice in reverse here. You could be dealing with... This is you, the Gemini. So you possibly made the decision to move away from this person... And, you know, to live your best life. And now they see that and they feel like it's an injustice. Okay? And there's a lot of that going on. Um, I feel like it was divinely guided for you to leave this person here. Because we have the will of fortune here. So I feel like, in a sense, they feel like it's an injustice. But it's exactly the way things were supposed to play out. This could have been a karmic person that you were dealing with. And I'm saying that because justice and the will of fortune being in the same spread that speaks a lot to karma here so you know maybe this person didn't act right in a relationship they definitely come off as very dark dark energy or just like a heavy weight in a relationship maybe you had to carry them and maybe that's why you were happy and they weren't here it was that they would not really change here okay you felt like a sense of stagnancy like things wasn't transforming or moving forward and so you didn't want to further commit to this person with the higher in reverse you guys grew out of each other i feel as though 
essentially you took control over your life as the emperor here you possibly opened up a new business or became the ceo of some kind of company but whatever the case is you took control over your life and that's why you happy now but this person didn't take control of their life so they still feel in a residual effect of you leaving and they feel like you did them un unfairly did them wrong or unfairly because both wanted to come out okay let's see yep yeah. This is a missed opportunity here. And this person is probably trying to figure it out. I feel as though not only this was a missed opportunity between you and a person that you had to sacrifice. They could have been extremely... I do feel like you started a new beginning without them. But I do feel like you were just more serious about life. And, you know, maybe this is them a little bit more carefree and not really caring about the stability of a situation. If not, you definitely took a leap of faith to start a new beginning by yourself here. All right. So I see a queen of cups here. I don't know if that's you, Gemini, or if you actually met um, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces that you are building a ten of cups with. And that's what your past partner is watching. And they feel like it's unfair. All right, so let's clarify some of this here. Why is the lovers in reverse here for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising when it comes to the person that has hidden motives? Okay, so crowning the reading is the hanged one. So I definitely feel like the person behind the scenes is kind of seeking knowledge. They a little bit in limbo. They feeling kind of stuck. They are, they are feeling as if you um, essentially did this the entire relationship. They feel like you had this Queen of Cups energy around for the entire relationship. And maybe you did. And maybe you literally just met them as you was embarking on a new journey by yourself. All right. So, so for the lovers in reverse, the lovers in reverse came out twice. So you definitely grew out of this person. You was feeling um, disconnected from them. And you did make a, you did make a new offer. Okay, you decided to move on with somebody that you felt a closer connection to, somebody that you feel like you can have a family with or possibly do have a family with, you know. Um, Knight of Wands is in reverse. Maybe you met this person and you felt like it was going to be more of a one-night stand and then and you offered them sex, you know, this Queen of Cups, and then it turned into love here is what I'm seeing. And so you, I feel as though you had opportunities, Gemini, and your person really wasn't doing anything with their lives. That's so crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> this was a ha happy family that turned into a separated family. It's crazy because he's clarifying each other. Okay. <clears throat> so yes, that's the reason why this person is so upset is because you guys were perceived outwardly as a very happy family and now they feel like you just did them wrong why is the justice card here in reverse for gemini sun moon and rising yeah five of cups they are really hurt they are hurt here the eight of wands they want communication they want action they want to take action why is the will of fortune here so this is coming up as jealousy more than anything yeah, they want attention. They want some type of attention or a victory when it comes to you. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, so here's the hidden motive. Since they want to act, they feel like it's fair for them to embark on a success with you. They definitely want to cause an abrupt ending between you and a person that you just met. They want to come in and try to sabotage your happiness here. Why is the death card here in reverse for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Nine of Pentacles, yeah, mm, 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 mm -hmm. Queen of Cups, so whatever the case is, whatever they trying to do, they are definitely trying to come between you and the Queen of Cups here and make you back single, they want revenge, and how they want revenge is by breaking up your new relationship, okay, that's definitely what I'm seeing here, that is the most, um, literally triggering thing for your person here is the fact that they lost the opportunity to with you to somebody else and i feel like you embarking on a new journey with someone else and you're being successful and happy in this part in your past person they can't take the fact that you sacrificed them for a new love why is the higher thing here in reverse
Why is the hierophant here in reverse? The high priestess in reverse, yeah. So you guys are not on the same page and that's definitely going to come to light. Somebody is going to express that. That they met their wish fulfillment, that they moving away to wish fulfillment, okay? So this is somebody that's moving towards their star. So this Queen of Cups is someone's star. This Queen of Cups could be an Aquarius or someone with Aquarius in their chart here. Why is this Ace of Wands here in reverse? Yes, Three of Cups. Okay, so somebody felt like they lost to a third party. And that's the reason why they're going to do whatever they can to torment this Queen of Cups so that she can feel like giving up on a connection that she just started with the Emperor. You know, that happens to be somebody's ex. And somebody ex is mad as hell. Like, no. I refuse to allow somebody to just come in and take my new beginning, my new success. <clears throat> or success that they feel should be theirs because they've been sticking with this emperor. But obviously they was holding the emperor down and back. Yes, the emperor is putting an end to that. The emperor's focus is elsewhere, period. The emperor is focused on work and focused on a new love here. And tra and the transformation. Strengthen the moon card. I feel as though this person secretly tried to tame their energy, you know, tame the temptation of moving towards this uh, queen of cups, but they couldn't. That was, that's you, Gemini. I feel like it's you that's embarking on a new journey. Yeah. And so somebody snuck away and the other person is pissed. Yeah. Somebody snuck away the temptation here. We got the seven of swords as well as the devil card here. So with this fool card, it was definitely a leap of faith in a new direction with somebody new. And because of that, um, your past person, they want revenge here. And they're going to stop at nothing to get revenge. And I feel like they're going to target your new love, Gemini. Why is the queen of cups here? Why is the Queen of Cups here? King of Pentacles. All right, so if you're leaving behind the King of Pentacles, um, and this could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a Aries, but I do feel like uh, you could have that in your chart, and you just coming up as somebody that's very wealthy, but you moved on, you found somebody new. That's the person that you attached to, but your ex is not happy about it, especially because a separation had to happen between you and them in order for you to have this happiness. So they're going to stop at nothing to get revenge, um, to basically torment your person in hopes that they leave you. You know, I don't see, you know, that actually happening. I don't see that as an outcome. But, you know, just beware. Keep your heads up because you could have an ex that you had to sacrifice because they was holding you back. Coming back to still try to hold you back. Okay, Gemini? So, hopefully you like this message. If you did not, or if you did, sorry, if you did not, do whatever. Give a thumbs down if you want to. It's still engagement. But, um... If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit-ass video. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.